Hi, I'm here with Amin Tufani, Director of Strategy at Singularity University. How are you doing? Doing great. How are you? Good. Thanks for being here with us. Um, so I know we talked today on the panel about um, artificial intelligence, and that's something that's popping up on the covers of magazines and definitely something popular. So can you tell us a little bit about how that applies to Battle of the Quants? So what does this have to do with hedge funds? For sure. So we're at a very interesting junction. Uh, and this is a clear departure from hypothesis-driven AI to what I call hypothesis-free AI. This is where you're no longer giving the machine a model. It could be, it could be a regression model, whatever, a complicated neural network. Effectively, what you're giving the machine is the data, and you're saying, find interesting patterns. Hypothesis-free AI is really where we're going to see a transition from using the machines as a trader, using the machine to test hypotheses, to test trading strategies and execute trading strategies, towards a world where the machine is coming up with trading strategies. So techniques like deep learning, uh, random forest, these are just the beginnings. So my recommendation to fellow quants is to really watch the space and uh, you know, take inspiration from Google. Uh, Google machines found a concept of a, face, of a cat's face without being asked to find the concept of a cat's face. So that should really be unsettling to a lot of folks. And it's a good proof that the era of hypothesis-free AI is happening. And so then you were talking about how this can actually find the strategies that we should be looking at um, with our investments. How will that play out? Where does the human element come in and where is the technology? I mean, effectively at Singularity University, what we always talk about is that through technological uh, disruption, Individuals will be doing what companies used to do, and companies will be doing what governments used to do. I always say that with this new kind of AI, AI will be doing what quants used to do. So there is still a role to play for humans, but really we want to position away from being the strategy developers and strategy testers to really embracing technology to the point where you don't mind outsourcing some of the strategy development to the machine, if the machine can do it better. As a rule of thumb, if you understand what your model is made up of, it's probably not very complicated and you could do better. Imagine a world where using quantum computing, the machine is doing Monte Carlo simulations on a billion data points, a billion variables. The moment that happens, and a lot of folks discount how close quantum computing is uh, to where we stand right now, the moment that happens, the game is going to change. Right? It's a different ball game for all of us. So we need to pay attention to the exponential growth of technology. And that's really the focus area for Singularity University. Do you think we're at that point now where the machines are doing it better? Is there definitely this advantage to having algorithms and looking at investments in this way? I think where we are right now is right at the knee of the exponential curve. So we are at the end of the deceptive phase. This is where exponential growth, you know, exponential technologies like artificial intelligence and data mining seem to have exhausted their growth opportunity and a lot of folks are projecting a linear trend into the future. Continued growth at a linear pace. Incorrect. Effectively it is incomplete because we're right at the knee of the curve and once it goes exponential, once it goes vertical, there's going to be massive disruption. So my recommendation is really to watch the space and to posture for preparation to understand that this stuff is happening right now I think the data is too thin and a lot of the strategies are very computationally heavy mm -hmm. but right around the corner you'll see an opportunity where the machine is coming up with strategies that you could look at and you use the word disruption and I know that's something that keeps coming up is this technology is AI something we're looking at as a complete disruption to Wall Street and investments as we know it or is this something that's really working hand in hand so excellent question in the context of finance at Singularity University we look at disruptive technologies exponentially growing technologies like nanotech biotech artificial intelligence data mining you know Bitcoin the internet sensor technology virtual reality what we have seen is that these technologies have an amazing potential to disrupt a lot of industries and they have done so with media, with uh, IT, with retail, with professional services, with communication, telecommunication. Uh, we have not quite seen that disruption in finance yet. Uh, so we are fully anticipating that after the deceptive phase of these technologies is over and we hit the knee of the curve and it goes exponential, we're going to see those disruptive opportunities like Uber with taxis mm -hmm. and Airbnb. We call these unicorns in Silicon Valley. We are fully expecting unicorns to emerge pretty soon. That's great. Well, thanks so much for talking with us today. Anytime. Thanks for having me.